Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're having a good day today. Good day for me. Good day for me. Uh, it's a long day. Worked pretty long and came home and relaxed for an hour or two. Did my workout for an hour or so. And now I'm doing this video. And then I'm going to have a shower and go to bed. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I want to do this video because uh, I want to. And it's a list video. I know. Like I said, I want to do, start doing more of these videos. <clears throat> And this is going to be my five favorite uh, Latafas. Um, no particular order. And then I'll pick my favorite at the end. Because uh, you guys like that. Um, my favorite out of five. But these are all so close that it's going to be real hard. Uh, so let's just get right in off the start. Uh, the first one is... Uh, Latafa, and I'm going to butcher most of these names, guys, so go with it. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. It's the way it is. Also, this is my list. Like with any list <clears throat> I do or anybody does, it's all subjective. It's what I like. You may agree with all of them. You may disagree with every single one of them. You may agree with a couple, disagree with a couple. You may agree with all of them, but have them in a different order. Or have a different favorite, I mean. That's fine. That's okay. We're all different. My list. My top five. You know, not yours. And again, with, with, with fragrances, this could change in a month. And I, I think I've probably done this once or twice already. And I think most of it stays the same. But, you know, a few changes here and there. So, let's just do another one. Get into it. So, my first one is Latafa Kuad. Or Kuad. Uh, classified as an Oriental Woody. Uh, this isn't going to be big reviews or anything, guys, so, you know, it's just a list. But some of the notes are cinnamon, oud, cardamom, bella, vanilla, amber. Uh, just, yeah, a warm, woody, spicy, somewhat powdery and creamy vanilla scent. Uh, there is an oud in this, of course. Uh, most Latafas have an oud in them. Uh, some of them are funky and loud. Some of them are just the right amount of oud, more woody than funky. And this is one of those ones that's more woody than funky. Uh, real good for first-time people who aren't sure about oud. You may uh, <clears throat> you may want to try something like this. Um, this does get compared to uh, the Wee DC Polaris by Issey Miyake. Uh, I have smelled that. Uh, I can't remember if it smells the same. Uh so I don't know, but that's that's what they compare it to. Uh, I have actually worn it. I had a sample of it a while ago, but I, I just don't know. It's a while ago now. <sighs> that stuff's just so nice. Just like I said, <clears throat> woody, spicy, warm, powdery, creamy vanilla with a touch of oud. Nice woody oud. Nice scent. Nice scent. Uh, next, Kamra. I've said before, I don't lock that down anymore because I pulled that off the other last time. You can actually see if you look. I don't know if that'll pick it up, but where I had to pliers and tear it out of this. So I just don't push it down no more. <clears throat> Come. Uh, aromatic, spicy. I'd say gourmand, but oh, every time I smell this, I fall in love with it again and again. That apple cinnamon spice combo with the cinnamon and the nutmeg and the vanilla. It's just it's it's ever present. Uh this one smells apple pie right away, you know. More than the boss bottle does, like. Um uh, you know, and then it's got uh so yeah, some of the notes are cinnamon, nutmeg, vanilla, praline, uh dates, amberwood. You get You get the picture. You know what I mean? You get the picture. A very sweet vanilla, uh, chocolatey type patchouli in the base with a good dose of spice and even a bit of a boozy vibe. I'm guessing from the dates and the warm amber woods is giving it a bit of a boozy vibe. Uh, and it's, it's compared to Angel Share. Uh, it's an okay Angel Share fragrance. Or Angel Share dupe. It's not 100%. It's, I actually like this one a little better than Angel Share. I've said that before. But yeah, what a scent. 
you you better like sweet gourmands though, sweet spicy gourmands, because at the end of the day, that's what this is. Uh, <clears throat> some people say it smells feminine. It's funny in the air. This smells more masculine, but close up and on skin to me, it smells a little more feminine. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. Honestly, that's just it is what it is. So that's Kamra. Ade alud latafa ud for glory. Yeah. Classified as an Oriental woody. Uh, notes are oud, saffron, patchouli, nutmeg, lavender, musk. Woody. It's a woody fragrance, but um, it has oud in it again, but not an overly funky oud. A little more oud than Qad has, but not by much. Um, definitely pick up on that saffron too, which is not my favorite when it's mixed with oud. But it's not too bad in this one, actually. It's, it's very accompanying. It's not in your face saffron, right? Um, some powdery florals, a spicy nutmeg, and a nice, uh, again, woody patchouli. You know, a nice woody, spicy, powdery, somewhat fresh even fragrance. Um, this is a, an obvious dupe of Initio Oud for greatness. Smell Oud for greatness while a pretty good dupe. Uh, especially for the price, probably one of the best for the price, if not the best for the price. Um, it's a really good clone, but on its own, it's just a really good fragrance. Um, yeah, just spicy, woody, floral, woody. I mean, it is what it is. It's really good. Um, Amir Al Oud, uh, Oud Intense, or Intense Oud by La Tapa. Uh, by the fireplace, dude. Uh, I find it very similar to by the fireplace, except where by the fireplace focuses more on woods. This focuses more on an oud to me. Again, not a super funk oud, and it's got plenty of woods in it too. It's not like this is just, it's just the oud stands out a little more in this than I don't even know if there is oud in by the fireplace, but I don't smell oud in by the fireplace, but I smell oud in this. Again, but not a bad oud, not a funky oud or anything like that. Uh, notes are sugar, vanilla. Oh, this is classified as an intense oriental. Uh, or an oriental. Uh, I'd say gourmand, 100%. Sugar, vanilla, woods, oud. Smoky woods and oud wood combo combined at the beginning. Like I said, with an almost uh, marshmallow sweet sugar vanilla combo. Uh, smoky... Good dose of oud. Said a little stronger than the rest of them, but it's not an oody oody fragrance, right? Uh, but yeah, just a strong, smoky, woody, sweet fragrance. Very nice fragrance. Smells very similar to By the Fireplace. Uh, I do prefer By the Fireplace a little more than this, but not much. But this is still a really good, uh, really good dupe of it. It's basically By the Fireplace with. With some mood added. Think about it that way. Um, last but not least is obviously Assad. Their dupe of uh Oh my god, Christian Yours Savage Elixir. Oh, what a nice scent. Oh god. It's a fougere, um, pepper, vanilla, amber, tobacco, woods, patchouli, resins, uh, lavender, iris. All, and that's not even all the notes. Uh, again, a nice peppery, vanilla, powdery, woody fragrance with a touch of that old school vibe. Uh, you can smell... Again, I've done a whole review. It doesn't smell like Drakkar Noir or anything like that. or But you can smell the inspiration in it. You know what I mean? That that Definitely, definitely my kind of scent. Uh So again, like I said, uh, elixir, yeah, elixir is very strong. This isn't as strong, which is actually nice. Um, not that this is a bad performer. I mean, this is this is eight nine hours and projects like a mother and gives you that bubble and everything. But elixir is just so the most beast fragrance I've ever owned or smelled. To tell you the truth, 
uh, and this quite isn't quite as uh, old school as the elixir is. It's still very close, like I said. Just this has a little bit more of a like a soft creamy vanilla in the base that really adds to it. Oh, it's just a really nice fragrance, guys. Really nice fragrance. Um, so I think you probably know which is my favorite out of the bunch. And it's obviously a sod. Um, but I feel that's cheating because my love of, you know, the old school fougeres and whatnot, masculine fragrances, and that's kind of would obviously be the winner. So out of the other four, a sod is the winner, but let's pick the winner out of the other four. Let's finish second. 1.5. 1.5, please. <clears throat> well, I really like the Intensude, the Amir Alude by the Fireplace Tube, and I really like Bidet Alude, the, the Initio Oud for Greatness one, uh, and Commerce, delicious. I'm probably going to have to go with Qad. I just like that spicy, woody, even somewhat... Slightly leathery kind of vibe that this has. It's more my taste right now. Again, but all five of these guys are just, to my taste, to my preference, are just, you know, we're looking at nines and 9.5s. Like I said, I've never given nothing to 10 for the most part because I don't believe there's a perfect fragrance. In order to be perfect, it would have to be loved by everybody. It'd have to be long performing on everybody strong projecting on everybody and i mean everybody like not 99 point i mean 100 percent of people in the world and i don't believe there's ever going to be that so unless the universe gets together and decides to make it it's not going to happen so but these are all like i said nines 9.5s 9.9 i mean they're they're within you know half a point really of each other if i was to rate them that way so they're all really good fragrances. And uh, yeah, that's that's my list, guys. Tell me what you think. You think, uh, do you agree with it, disagree with it? I'm sure somebody's going to be out there and just tell me how wrong I am because it's the internet and you know better than I do what I should like. So um, yeah, but you, you tell me what your list would be, uh, your favorite five Latafas. And uh, Tell me what you think of these five. I'd be, I'd be interested in hearing if most of you like them like I do. Even if they're not your favorite, do you still like them? Or do you hate them? I'd, I'd like to hear why you hate them. I'm always up for a differencing of opinion, of course. That's that's what makes life interesting. All right, guys. Peace, love, be good to each other, and be good to yourselves.